every freaking single Shopify dropshipping store is or watches or clothing. Go just check out on these Facebook groups and see how many people freaking have clothing as a Shopify store, okay? And I'm making this video because I already made a video on stop doing watches and clothing, but you know what? I'm super mad now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, yeah. But I actually just wanna tell you why, you know, gurus, Shopify gurus suck. I mean, that, I'm being honest. You know why I was able to make my first Shopify sale 23 hours after having my Shopify store live? Because I didn't hear none of these freaking, you know, uh, lame uh, gurus, all right? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of people doing or teaching or selling courses. All right, I don't, I don't wanna like talk about courses because I do have my own course, my mentorship program. Uh, but you know, there's a lot of courses that I, you know, I have people that, I have friends, all right? I have one friend that told me, I bought this course and it was really what you said not to do on your videos. Okay, so before we start the video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and you hit the notification bell because uh, we're, we're the most upfront uh, family on YouTube about Shopify and dropshipping. I'm not gonna talk BS uh, things just so you actually think Shopify is easy because it actually is not if I teach you some things. I mean, I can make it really hard for you. All right, so let's talk a little bit about those gurus. First of all, I want to make this video. I want to call out all of these gurus. I mean, if you're a, you have a you don't have a course or anything, and you're a big YouTuber doing Shopify, there's a, something you should probably tell your your audience. All right, a lot of people misunderstand how Shopify works. Shopify dropshipping is a business model that people think it's just putting <clears throat> best-selling watches on their Shopify store or finding clothes and selling it to people through Facebook ads or Instagram influencers. And that's how it doesn't, it doesn't work like that, all right? And I feel so bad for all these people that haven't made their first sale passing three, four, or five months, all right? And why? Because they really don't think, I mean, a lot of these courses don't teach you how to, how to think. If I'm a guru, all right, if I'm a Shopify guru, what I would want is obviously for all you people, all you hundreds and thousands of people that get into Shopify to sell watches and don't get me wrong you can actually sell watches but what these people are telling is that you can create a store called Victor's watches and put a luxury watch and just do a free plus shipping and get rich and no that's not how it works now how it works and how I like to do it is actually creating a brand you know a lot of people misunderstand I repeat Shopify dropshipping because they think it's easy just you know they think it, the process works like this putting a you know some something on shopify that it's best selling and promoting it and they're gonna make money and no it doesn't work like that it works like a regular business okay it's shopify and doing dropshipping as your model for your business works like any other business and any other brand it's the same thing all right the only good thing about doing dropshipping is that you don't need inventory and that's the business model okay the product doesn't pass through your hands but besides that, it's a business. And now I know there's a lot of businesses you do using Instagram influencers, all right? This, you, this Instagram, you know, these influencer marketing uh, strategies, not just for Shopify. Every single huge business is using Instagram influencer. Now, what's the difference? They're building a brand. So what I want to tell you, you fake gurus out there, is teach your students to actually build a brand and actually do a good niche research. Why? Because if they start and keep on selling watches without creating a brand, they're just saturating the market. And if they just want to sell clothing, you know how hard it is. You know, I have a girlfriend and I, I doubt, I doubt, guys, she will buy a dress from a store she doesn't know or that hasn't had fans or reviews or testimonials. I doubt it. Even if the dress is amazing, no girl was actually going to buy some clothing or, or, or some type of a dress or something like that if it doesn't have a beautiful branding if it doesn't have a good image as a brand so what's the beauty about doing in its research it's better to do targeting it's better to be unique it's better for example I in my store my first store was a niche specific audience store right so it was super easy because everything was around that niche and people don't need to you know decide okay so imagine if I go to watches you know how many stores okay you know what's gonna happen if they go in my store of watches they're gonna be freaking fired with a lot of, you know, freaking, just, just try this, all right? Go and type watches, look your watches and watches on your Facebook feed. Just type it and search it. You know, that same day or the day after, you're gonna get probably 
20 Shopify store ads, you're gonna get probably 20, 20, 30 ads or watches. You know, imagine you're the client. You're gonna decide, you're gonna like, what? Everyone sells the same watches. You won't probably buy from anyone. Now, you're definitely gonna get one, two sales depending on the marketing budget you have. But you know what? I made my first sale with zero dollars. I made it before the 14 day free Shopify drop. So you know what? I pretty much just spent like $3 on my uh, domain from GoDaddy. All right, that's pretty much it. And you know what? It's like, oh, okay, so you don't want, you don't have to spend money? No, but that motivated me a lot because I was like, okay, then this is how, this actually works. Just having that money on my PayPal was just super incredible how I can actually make money without even buying a product until someone buys it from me. So let me tell you, and all these fake gurus out there, if you're not telling your audience that you really need to build a brand, treat your Shopify store as a business and really a brand, okay? If, okay, now the other way around it, if you are, okay, I'm gonna probably answer, if you answer yes, then you can also try this other thing. Do you know a lot, you're a master at targeting and Facebook ads, you know a lot of content creation really, I mean, you know, retargeting and using, uh, you know, MailChimp or whatever, uh, whatever uh, service you wanna use for email marketing. All right, if you know all these and you master this, you can probably try selling watches and really bombard, uh, you know, just freaking upsell and upsell and, you know, retarget with Facebook ads and, and I'm sorry, with email marketing and retarget and retarget also using pixel and freaking using a lot of budget. Now, for all these beginners, I know, uh, you know, out of 100, I know 95 uh, people are beginners. For those beginners, it's not the best thing to start doing, you know, with all this. So what I wanna tell you is that even if you don't do uh, in this specific audience, you want to do a general store, you have to able to build trust, testimonials, all these things, all these things every business needs to do. If I freaking open a restaurant, I need reviews. Even if it's a restaurant, freaking anything, I don't know, if I'm uh, uh, selling, I don't know, skateboards or I'm freaking an airline, okay, I, I still need reviews, I still need this brand. Not just because I have a free bill shipping offer, I, I'm gonna get a lot of clients. So understand this, this is the business and I'm not saying the uh, dropshipping is amazing, guys. I'm telling you, I'm I'm someone, all right, that made my first sale in 23 hours with using uh, zero dollars with free traffic, just using some kind of creativity and my intelligence, all right. And I can actually do what I did was actually build a, you know, uh, uh, my fans on Facebook or all. I really I got in like five days. I got like 400. Uh, 400 uh, fans on my Facebook. That was super fast. I even that was amazing. You know how I did? It? I actually started posting videos related and putting them on. Uh, groups so they actually start sharing them and sharing them and they got kind of viral and then I grew my fan and you know what I, what I did I actually you know because of all my fans were super niche specific people that actually are potential clients I did a look like audience that was based on my fans because I knew all my fans were on my niche so that's super simple that's what, what how much value I repeat zero dollars all right guys so for all these gurus please you know why I get mad because I'm making this video again because today and after, the, like every single day I watch, and you know there's a lot of Shopify groups. I actually have a mentorship uh, group that I'm gonna probably link it down below, so join it. Okay, I'm also gonna leave a 14 day free trial, so if you get uh, joined through that link, I'm actually gonna give you a free video audit, and I'm also gonna give, I'm gonna give you, uh, you're gonna be part of the giveaway, giveaway, all right? So, okay, so I see a lot of people, you know, what do you think about my store? What do you think about my store? And every single freaking store is selling clothes or watches. And you know, I, out of 10, probably zero are making money, all right? Or making one sale, and it's probably their mom that's buying their clothing, all right? No, I'm just kidding. But what you gotta do is try to build a brand and try, you know what? If you're a beginner, I highly suggest you go into niche specific audience or you freaking put every single uh, second of your effort building a brand if you wanna sell watches, building a brand, giving the watch to, you know, finding influencers, taking awesome pictures, doing video content, video ads is what you need to do, people wearing it, just, you know, don't sell the watch, sell what's behind, sell what you actually are gonna feel. You know, that's for every business. It, even if you're not doing dropshipping, that's what you gotta do. Not sell the watch, not sell the product, not sell the Shopify product, but sell really the emotion, the experience, and that's what you gotta do. All right, guys, so I hope you understand this video, and I hope you really, I'm gonna probably call this if you, uh, Shopify gurus or something like that, dropshipping gurus. So thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you join the family, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.